Yeah, well, sorry for the click wait. I mean, come on, you wouldn't click on this video if I didn't use that kind of thumbnail, would you? So let's talk about Wait, an Indian animated short film. I know my channel is about anime, but hey, this is also animation and I really liked it and observed some interesting things which I would like to share with you guys. If you haven't seen that short film, link is in the description. Please go watch it. It's just 11 minutes long. And no, I'm not gonna compare an anime whose every episode was made using millions of dollars to this masterpiece short film that was funded on Kickstarter. So let's talk about the short film first and then we will do the bitching. Timestamps will be mentioned. Wade is an Indian animated short film created by Ghost Studios. It's set in a post-apocalyptic, 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 whatever, Kolkata Sundarban, which due to climate change is unlivable due to the rise in sea level. Some refugees are still living there, trying to survive with even a new generation being born, showing our survival instinct. After all, we have survived for 2.5 million years. I'm assuming no jungle is left now, just buildings with road flooded with water, humans and animals coexisting. We see a bunch of humans sleeping on the rooftops. Early morning, they leave to a place for hunting fishes and this girl sitting on a boat made of plastic bottles because she's blind and can't walk and this man wearing a mask at the back. So the animals don't attack him from behind. Oh. But well, after having a meal, their group is ambushed by the tigers. The mother tries to save her blind daughter and injures the tiger but loses her life in the process. While the rest of the group hides in a store leaving the blind girl behind. Of course, they can't fight a group of mighty tigers and why would they? Cause I mean, she's blind. What can she do for the group? She's just a burden, right? And that's how humans survive, by abandoning their humanity. The injured tiger now tried to save the blind girl from the other tigers. Maybe he was just saying, let the girl live and get some flesh on her bones. Or, or maybe the tiger has more humanity left inside himself than the humans. That's when enters a magical tigress. She was walking on water, so I guess she's magical. She comes close to the blind girl when the newborn starts crying in the shop, attracting all the attention of the tigers. And again, to survive, humans have to abandon their humanity, just in the hopes to see the next day. And the man had to drown the newborn to make him shush. That's when the magical tigress feels pain in her tummy and collapses, giving birth to a newborn cub, kind of symbolizing the human kid reborn as a tiger now. The cub she gave birth to was magical as well, floating on the water, but then she starts drowning. What I think is, uh, the magical tigress was supposed to be the mother nature. Climate change and sea levels rising are all the problems that she is suffering from and she is walking on them. But once she gave birth to a new generation and is about to take her last breath, it's no longer her problem because she is leaving this world. Now it's the problem that her newborn will suffer, symbolizing that our actions that are leading to climate change might not be our problems because we will be long gone. But it will be a problem for the coming generation and the generation after that. If they survive, the cub's hand starts becoming human-like. You can say cause he is the reincarnation of that kid that drowned or the climate change is resulting in mutation of the animals. The blind girl is looking for a weapon for her defense and if the tigress sensed it, she will attack the blind girl to save her newborn. She won't care how weak her body became due to giving birth just like the mother of the blind girl, fought the tiger to save her. So the injured tiger attacks the tigress, making her lose the few seconds of life she had left. The streak of tigers leave, taking the magical cub with them, sparing the blind girl another day to live. But how long will she live? I mean, the cub lost her mother, but the streak of tigers will raise him and protect him. But what about the blind girl? Her mother is dead. Will the rest of the group take care of her? In this brutal world, do humans have any humanity left? So we have to change if we don't want this day to come. Humans can survive by abandoning their humanity. But for how long? One day, they all will be gone. But nature, she will just evolve and adapt to the situation. Whew, 11 minutes of video that foreshadowed so many important things. With a unique art style and pleasing color palette and a story that shows the dark truth and ugly nature of us humans. See, we have the potential to make it big. And I can see the comments like, Oh, who said we Indians don't have talent? Ah, uh, well, the rest of the world says nothing. It's just we Indians who don't support Indians. Instead, we criticize them. 
by comparing them to a billion dollar industry known as anime. I've seen Instagram posts and videos comparing Indian cartoons to anime and shitting on them. They call themselves Indian otaku. No, you ain't otaku. You're just a piece of shit. It's just so sad that we will come on the internet and scream about our parents forcing us and comparing us with the neighbor's kid. And then we will do the same thing by comparing Indian cartoons to anime. We have to change our attitude towards our own people and support projects like this. Here is another short film from Go Studios known as Kinara. Do watch this as it has just around 5k views and it does deserve a lot more than that. And if you think you have amazing story lines, work on it. Get funded on Kickstarter or something. Text your favorite YouTuber. I mean, come on. If they can make a shitty meme like these two to YouTube celebrities, I'm sure they can support some talented artists as well, right? <laughs> right, right. And now let's end this video. Come on, leave a like. I'm sure the clickbait didn't disappoint you. You got to know about Wade. And subscribe to my channel, guys, please. And Go Studios. Thanks a lot for this masterpiece. I hope you guys rise and shine even more and make us proud. See you in the next one.